Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Ark Aberration. Today we're going to be heading down to all the biomes. And we're going to be collecting all of the light pets. All four of them. So we will start off in the red zone. Grab a feather light. Come up here to the blue zone. And grab a shine horn. Up top in the fertile forest we'll be grabbing a bulb dog. And then in one of the caves. We'll be finding a glow... Glow tail? I think they're called glow tails. And grab one of each of those. Just so we have them. And mark that off of the list of things I want to do while we're on this map so let's go ahead take a quick flight down this is gonna be very easy I have go went ahead and set up some zip lines to get back up and show you how I used to get up and down before the whole cryopod era came to be in arc so there should be some feather lights I think we saw when we uh why is there always a as <laughs> always a megalosaurus there I don't know if it's just where they spawn in at but we did see some feather lights when we went to get the rock drake eggs just right over here to the side. So I'm hoping they're still here. And it is. Nice. Not really concerned with what levels they are. Just because we're, uh, I hear something. What's walking? Oh, it's a drake! Dude! Get out my megalosaurus. Throw it out. Well, I didn't think any of those were going to be down here. We good? We okay? <laughs> Anyways, let me show you what we have. So we have one of each stack of the mushrooms because each one is for a separate light pet. And I think this one is this. I believe. Hey, you just stay there, man. Stand guard. And there's a seeker coming. Ah. One bite, not a problem. All right, let's try to get this dude real quick and get out of here. What level are you? Oh, you're an 85. That's not too bad of a level. Should just take one more. But yeah, so these are the... The mushrooms that are like stimulant. This is for the glow tail. That is for the shine horn, I believe. And I think that's for the bulb dog. I might have these two mixed up. That might be for the bulb dog and I'm, that one might be for the shine horn. Where did he go to? Little dude, don't go too far, man. Give him one more. Please tell me that was you. Yeah, I think it was. The problem is getting him to come down and land. There we go. Oh, nice. So there is our feather light. Not too bad of stats, right? So yeah, 500 on the health, 290 on charge capacity. Regen is 536. And then emission range is almost 400%, so not bad. We are going to cryopod him. And I'll use these around base as kind of like lights to get everything lit up. This one doesn't have too much of that yellow light like the bulb dog does. So I think they're all a little bit different. But let's head over here. This is kind of where it gets to where the radiation doesn't affect you too much. And there's a Perlovia. Alright, dude. Oh, nice. We got him before he got to us. I didn't know you could take that out. But anyways, over here is where the radiation isn't around, so I should be able to throw my Ravager out and use him to climb back out. Get rid of those. If you need to recharge your light pet or anything, turn them off. You can go to that dude right there, turn them off. It'll protect you from the Nameless. And that is pretty good timing on our cryopod because nothing like throwing out a pet and having it get cryo sickness. Oh, man. <laughs> I thought he was dropping. All right, buddy. So I will show you this on our way up. So I got zip lines strung all the way up here. You can do it in between the waterfall there. But the thing is, if you miss one of your jumps, you're going into the element river. And it is definitely instant death. There is no getting anything back, including your team. You will be dead before you get there. I like this way up and down, though. You can use Ravagers for everything down here, even getting the Rock Drake eggs. You can string these all along down there, and to take the Ravager in and not take radiation damage, you just have to make some of that mushroom stew or soup, whatever it's called. I did the stringing of these off camera because, dude, it takes so long. You have to sometimes spin upside down. To be able to get your shot right, like to get this one. 
But long as you have these to where they cross each other close enough, it's fairly simple to get up and down with. Just getting the range also timed out just right so it doesn't snap. As long as the crosshairs pop up before you jump, you should go from one zip line to the other. That's kind of why I don't like doing it over over the river there. Because sometimes even if you have it set just right, he jumps off and doesn't attach correctly. Kind of like this one, man. It's really sketchy because it's right up against the rock face there. But one more jump and we should be in the clear. And then we'll look for us a Shinehorn. There should be one up here. I've really been wanting one of those. And that's it, man. We are up from down there. That's how you would do it without any cryopods and without having to use climbing picks to get up or down. So I do have it kind of strung up to get back over here. Oh my gosh, it's like, <laughs> it's like a jungle there. Let me up. There we go. We do got to watch out for the Megalosauruses. I did run into quite a few of those when I was trying to get this all strung up. And there is a crab down here still, unless he took a jump off the waterfall already. Which I think he did, because he was right down there. Nope, there he is. He's still over there. That's where we got the lamp rays and stuff from a couple of videos ago for our poor man's hazmat suit. All right, Shinehorn, where you at, man? Oh, dude, there was a Ravagers there when I came through here a little bit ago. Thing that sucks with those is they can follow you on your zip lines. Oh, we were stuck, and there's a Megalosaurus. Yep, there they come. Dang it, I was hoping they weren't gonna. Oh, they'll follow us all the way up? Oh, they will. It's kind of neat mechanic they have there with that. How they kind of follow you on the zip lines. Alright. That kind of goes down towards the red zone. Let's go back up this way because when we went to tame that basilisk, there was a couple shine horns down that way. And there's another pack of ravagers. Man, those things are all over the place. It's like an infestation. Alright, you guys just stay over there on that Anki. What are you? Oh, it's a dung beetle. Weird colors, man. Weird colors sometimes. All right, I'm going to go ahead and run up here and try to find us a shine horn, and then we'll tame that, and then move up to the fertile forest area for the last two. Dude, there's actually a drop over here for a change. Right back there is base. I like that little slide down there. Jump down here and see what we got. Hopefully, blueprint? Maybe a piece of chitin armor. Or maybe some glow sticks. Dude, I tell you what. Got all these glow sticks and I haven't even used them. Alright, man, there's gotta be a shine horn down here somewhere. There's a Megalosaurus. Those things are everywhere as well. Hopefully we don't see any more basilisk. Well, I mean, I don't know. Maybe we should because we do need some of them. The scales for summoning Rockwell. Which, speaking of that, in the next video. We'll be going down in the same cave we'll be finding the glow tail in. And we'll be trying to grab some of the artifacts. We need three artifacts to summon a rock well. And then one of them happens to be at the end of that one. There's some ravagers. What are they fighting? Oh, it's one of those. One of the big apes. But yeah, we're going to start collecting our artifacts. So we can start doing rock well here pretty soon. I need to get on it with hatching us some eggs for megalosauruses so we can take in probably gonna take about 10 or 15 of them in not too sure depends on how the stats come out on them oh there's one finally dude i have been running all over man it's like i don't know if y'all got killed off or what but there's more ravagers man it's like they're eating everything around here all right buddy let's get which one is it for them is it these i think it's these Oh, it's a level 145. Dude, nice! Now we just need to find another one so we can breed you. Too bad his colors aren't better. Is it a him or a her? It's a him. I mean, the purple and pink look kind of cool. 
We can always paint them too. So yeah, these take uh these take the mushrooms that heal you. So it should be just one more, and we should be good. I'm hoping that the uh, little thing down there saying uh, max level wild dino detected is just for this dude since he's such a high level. And not something else. Nice. Awesome. There we go. Let's look at your stats. Where are you going, man? Don't go too far. 782 on the health. Charge capacity is 774. Regen is 813. And emission range is 432%. Not bad. We will be exchanging our bulb dog out for him once we get back to base and get everything sorted out. However, let's hit topside. And even though we have one, we'll go ahead and tame a bulb dog and then get our glow pet. And that'll be it. Figured I'd show you while we're over here. We're all the way over on the one side of the map. Show you where we are. All the way up there, on the far right side, up around 4080, and this is the other way that leads up. What time of day is it? It is, ooh, it's early morning, so the sun will probably be coming up, but I think this one is an easy one. It just walks right out, if I remember correctly. Could be wrong. Take a quick stroll down here and, and see. It's been a long time since I used this exit to the surface. I think it's the furthest one away from all of the obelisks. Yeah, so it's pretty easy. You could probably get up and down with one zip line right there in the corner, right down to here, which actually, I mean, we got the stuff. Let's go ahead and string it. Too high? Nope. Perfect. Oh, it's too... Yeah, it is too far. We put it on the wall over here. Whoa, easy, buddy. Easy. Making me dizzy. Nice, it did stick. So we'll do this one we'll put it higher. And then we'll attach this one to here just so we know where it's at. Take a quick stroll. We can't go up too high because it is going to get really, really hot. And we all know what happens with the sun when we're up here from last time. <laughs> we turned into a big ball of fire, man. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Dude, that's like right on the edge. We should be able to... Yep, jump right up. Cool. So, this is the other surface. It's kind of over by the blue obelisk, off to the side a little bit. I don't know, it might be easier to get to it. We'll play on the... want to keep calling them a reaper. We'll play on the rock trake up there and do some drops here coming up sometime soon. All right, I'm going to continue my trek up to the fertile forest. We're not too far away. Get our other two light pets. Poor little dodos, man, getting terrorized by the raptors. You know, we couldn't find a raptor the other day. We were trying to tame, <laughs> tame one to throw that skin on them. And now they're all over. That's the way it goes, man. That is Ark for you. Speaking of light pets, let's turn ours off a little bit. Oh, man, it's kind of nice not seeing that light all the time. However, now that we're looking for them, I don't see any bulb dogs anywhere. Those little dudes are usually all over the place. There's a zebra over there. A couple of those. Not sure what you'd use them for on this map, though. All right, man, there's got to be a couple of them around here somewhere. We are over kind of ne back near base. This is where I always think there's a drop at. Not actually a drop. Just that billboard. Ah, here's a bulb dog here. Oh, there's two of them. Let's, uh, let's grab this one, man. He's got kind of like a little blue color to him. Level 60. Throw some of those in for you. And there we go. There is our bulb dog. Dude, I like the colors on him. Why are you running away, man? Don't go too far. Let's get a crowd pot out. Actually, I have one. Dude, he's got awesome colors, man. I like the blue. Nice. So that is three. And now all we have to do is go back to where our base was. Our original base. There's a cave right over there near where you drop down. Let's see, where are we even at, man? I've just been running. Oh, we're not too far from it. It should be right up over this hill, I believe. Yeah, right up there. Not far. So there's a cave that goes down. It's got the 
glow tails in there, and then it has an artifact kind of deep down in. When they made this map, you know, there was no cryopods, so it was one of the ones where you had to go on foot. And I'm sure now you could actually crawl into the cave because you got to duck down to get in. A Ravager won't fit. And you used to have to use, like, either the zip lines with the attachment for your pants, where you can use the zip lines without a Ravager, or you had to use grapple hooks. So I think... Ooh, that's a nice colors on that Carno. What's up, buddy? Oh, I didn't want to hit you. I think what we'll do is kind of do it old school. I will not take the Ravager in. We will actually make the parts that we need to go in on foot. It'll be a little bit funner that way, I think. All right, we will be leaving our Ravager to be able to go into this one. Dude, I didn't realize the Ravager's got a blue streak down his back. We're not ever up here in the daylight with him too much. Actually, it looks pretty nice. All right. Let's see what we have. Cryopod for you. I don't think he has anything in him. We definitely need to check, though. Nope. Nothing there. Turn our light pit on. I don't know if there are nameless back here. Yeah. So, this is where you go. See what I was talking about? The Ravager won't fit. That's fine. And we didn't bring any type of weapons on us. So, we will be using our climbing picks. They can be used as weapons, and I think we got 500% on them. 456, that should work. I don't know what kind of damage that equates, but <laughs> I think we'll end up finding out. I don't know if you need the hazmat suit for down here. There does look like there's some gas. But we should be seeing some glow tails down here. It's a pretty neat looking area. We alright? I know there's usually Ravagers and Carnos in here. Alright, where are you guys at, buddy? So that's the way we need to go for the artifact. Oh, explore note. Don't want to read it. Not too interested in them. <gasps> oh, it's a raptor of all things. I don't want to climb. Wait, can I not use it as a weapon? I thought I could. It's a 104 too. Dude, we're going to die. It's all right, I'm going to hack you with my little hatchet. This is a terrible way to go about this. I'm just saying for future reference. I would not recommend it. All right, we're going to run. Yep, 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 yep. We might die. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe I didn't bring a weapon. We might actually have to throw a Ravager out here. All right, let's throw a Ravager out. Man, we're going to die. Oh, I can't throw it out. <gasps> Dude, get him. I, I don't want to talk about it. I can hear you yelling at me already that I should have brought a weapon. And I do agree. However, that's not the case. At least we are not far away. And hopefully the Ravager kills the Raptor. Oh, I don't have a glider suit. Yep. All right. Let me do the uh, swim of shame to get back over there. What was that? Oh, it's just a fish. And... Uh, We'll get our stuff and go get a glow tail. We're going to keep the Ravager out just because I was going to make a shotgun to bring and totally forgot about it. So mistakes have been made. See you back in a few. We made it back and I see my glow pet down there. Dude, it is so dark. So I take it he's still alive in the Ravager. Yes, they are. All right, buddy. You did get on that one. I won't yell at either one of you. However... Like I always say, man, when you two are together, I always end up dying. So that is a thing. Grab a little bit of fiber so I can make some pants. I hate not having my pants. I'm sure you got some hide in you, don't you? No? No hide? Dude, what'd you do with that Ravager? Alright, so we'll just make some pants. That'll be good enough. Hopefully we don't need our hazmat suit for in here. That's going to be kind of expensive to repair. All right, let's find us a glow tail. It's gonna be kind of hard navigating with the Ravager in here too because of his size. 
Oh, and there's scorpions. Dude, that's an awesome looking scorpion, man. Too bad I just killed it. <gasps> oh, dude. Scare me like that. Man, we would have definitely wouldn't have made it in here. Not without a shotgun. All right, let's go ahead and trade out this for that. So yeah, the glow tails, man, they like the little narco berry ones. Hmm. I guess we will go ahead and string this across, even though we should be doing it. When we do the artifact. We'll just put it across there. Tell you the truth, we might just go ahead and get the artifact while we're down here. Well, that's a problem. Alright, guys, come on. There we go. Ah, there's a glow tail. Nice. Oh, and there's a ravager. Not nice. <laughs> oh, there's two of them. Well, he just jumped off. Nice. Okay. You just stay there, man. And you. Ooh, level 68. That's not too bad. Gonna need one more. Don't really like the colors, but we're not here for that right now. That's a horrible place to fall down to, I'm guessing. Alright, buddy. And there's our glow tail. So, he is 460 on the health. Charge capacity is 250. Charge regen is 512. And emission range is 323. Not too bad for what it is. And... Let's go ahead and get this made again. And get him put in here. Yeah, see, man, they're pretty cool looking. We'll throw them all out whenever we get out of here. Let's just go ahead and get out. We'll get the artifact later. I want to get out of here, throw the pets out, and take a look at them before we go. And I might need to string another one to get out. Not we can make it around it. Barely, but we made it. Alright, back top side we go. Throw all of them out, let you see what all of them are. And then uh, we'll call it on this one. It's been uh, not too bad of a of a day. We got all four of the pets. We did lose our hazmat suit, plus ourselves. But, I mean, it is what it is sometimes, man. We are going to have to cryopod our Ravager to get back out. What is this? Feather light, you can go in there. And you can go in there. And you as well. Nice. What do you got in you? Holy crap. Bunch of junk. Nothing we want to keep. Is that just a piece of paper? Oh, uh, just a recipe. Alright, let's get out of the cave here. And right by the water, we'll throw them all. Oh, wait, we can't throw them all out. There's that weird lag. All right, let me get them all out. They're going to have cross sickness on each one. And then we'll come back when I have them all. It is nighttime anyway, so we'll see you back in a few. All right, so here are all four of the light pets. Let's go ahead and turn them all on so you can see what they look like. So that's the bulb dog. Y'all know what he looks like. The shine horn. Kind of neat how his antlers glow and then the stripes on his back. The feather light. Get some things on his feathers kind of glow. And then the glow tail. Believe it or not, his tail glows. It's kind of in the name, man. And the spots on his back. Be pretty neat if you can get that in like a black and a blue. Or a yellow with blue. Or yellow with black. Whatever colors you prefer. But that is all the light pets here on Aberration. Everybody has their favorite flavor. I really like the shine horn. And the Glowtail. Shine Horn's still kind of my favorite, man. Just the way that it rides on your back. However, gonna go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.